think it would be really cool to go to med school. Um, I'm not 100% sure because if I play soccer for a long time, I don't know when I'd go and that kind of thing. But um, my dad's a doctor, and I really like, you know, being the idea of being a doctor and interacting with people in that way. And I like the science stuff, obviously. So I don't know. I think it'd be a cool job. Hi, I'm Rachel Van Hollebeck. You might remember me better as Rachel Bueller. I retired from the national team in the NWSL in 2015, and now I'm going to medical school here at UC San Diego. First and second year are primarily classroom-based learning, so you have lecture, you have to learn the information, you have to do the work. Third year is really cool though because you're seeing patients every day, you're interacting with people, you're thinking about differential diagnoses, and you're really becoming a doctor at this point. So this is one of our many classrooms. This is actually the backpack that I've had since seventh grade. A lot of neurology books to study for various things. Computer. Med students must always have a lot of colored pens because we do a lot of diagrams and we write a lot of stuff. And so you gotta have every color that you might need at your disposal. Other good stuff. Oh, alcohol, prep pads. These are important. You always gotta have your stethoscope on you. My reflex hammer, a tuning fork. So this is so you can tell people can feel vibration. Um, so you'll get it vibrating, you'll put it on. It's also a way to test hearing, so you go like this. You put it on top of their head and ask them if they can hear it equally. Ooh, this is good. Granola bar. You, you always get hungry and you never have time to take a snack. So you gotta have a granola bar in hand. Oh, and another tuning fork. And that's about it. <laughs> so I always kind of knew that I wanted to be a doctor. Initially, I took my MCAT in 2008, right after graduating from college. And right around that time, that's when my soccer career started taking off. I was able to go to the 2008 Olympics, which was just the most amazing experience of my life and such a surprise for me at that time. I always knew that med school was on the horizon and something that I wanted to do. So I actually then applied to school during my soccer career and then was able to defer for four years from UCSD. They were incredibly understanding and supportive of what I was doing in soccer. But I always knew that that was like what was waiting for me after soccer. So I do think it made that transition a little bit easier for me and also gave me a little bit of closure in my soccer career because I knew that I had this awesome thing to look forward to. 